Nintendo has always kind of worked to the beat of their own drum. They've done things differently. They've never had the most powerful hardware. They've oftentimes had gimmicks built into their system. And one of the biggest gimmicks, this guy here, the Nintendo Wii, was an absolute sales monster. Before the monster they have now in the Nintendo Switch, this, the Nintendo Wii, was one of, if not their best selling consoles of all time. And part of the reason for that is the Wii Remote, which some people love the waggle, some people hate the waggle. I don't mind the waggle, and in fact, for me, the best version of Resident Evil 4 is the version on the Wii, because of the fact that you can aim super precisely with the Wii Remote. Hey everyone, Gary here with Rock Solid Productions. I thank you for stopping by and checking out our episode here today. I really do appreciate it. What I want to know from you down in the comments, it's pretty simple. Did you have a Wii? I have three of them right now. Mine, my dad's, and that was one of the beautiful things about the Wii, is it got people into gaming that like, my dad didn't play games since Pong. He was not a gamer, but he loved playing Wii Sports. And that is a lot of people can say they bought the system, they bought Wii Sports, or it came with Wii Sports, and that was it. My dad was a perfect case of that. Um, but one of the things with Nintendo, again, is they did things their own way. There's the Nintendo way of doing things. And the Wii is the perfect example that, you know, it's not the most powerful system of its generation by far. In fact, it's barely more powerful than its predecessor, the GameCube. But this out of the box came with composite video cables. Blech. You could get third-party and OEM official uh, component video cables. It's actually what's playing behind me here through my RetroTank 5X. Actually, this is only at 480p. And when I crank this up to 1080p, it's beautiful. But there's no HDMI out on here. It's something deliberate that Nintendo did to keep the cost down, and they honestly didn't think HDMI was a big deal at the time. It was. Now, there are a number of different ways that you can go ahead and get HDMI out of a Wii. And one of the cheapest, and when I say cheap, I mean cheap, is this guy here. This is an, a Wii to HDMI adapter. And basically what it's designed to do is plug into the video output on the back of the system and adapt that port to HDMI. I've used these in the past. They've been laggy. They've just been fuzzy. They've not been very good. But it's one of those, it has been a while since I've tried one of these and I never did a video on one. So what I want to do is I want to compare this to that. And I know five or six bucks, 300. It's a huge difference. But I really want to see for the casual game player, which by and large, that's who bought the Wii, is this something that is worth their money? So we're going to go ahead. This will be a real quick look at it on the bench. We're going to see how it fits into our system, and we are going to do some gameplay. Let's go get started. So here we have our Wii on the bench, and just a real quick overview. Anyone who has a Wii knows this. On the back, you've got your uh, input for power, you've got your sensor bar power, you've got your two USB ports, and there's your AV multi output. Now, no HDMI on here, one of the biggest misses on this system. So this Wii 2 HDMI just plugs right into the back of this. And take a look here. Now this was super, super cheap, like under seven bucks. And it comes with an HDMI cable. But here's the adapter itself. Now, there's a number of different varieties on this. This one actually, it's all plastic. I've seen other ones that have a metal casing on the outside. This plugs right into your Wii, and then on the back you get an HDMI out, and you also have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack if you want to utilize it. But to plug this to your system, all that you do, that's it. That's all there is to it pretty simple and straightforward. So what we're going to do now is we're going to compare this to how the Wii itself looks going through official component cables with no upscaling. And then we're going to actually play around with some upscalers too. Let's get started. So we are kicking off things here with one of my favorite games for any system ever, Super Mario Galaxy. It's beautiful and it sounds terrific. Now one thing, the remote I have, this is for my RetroTank 5X and I am going through my RetroTank 5X. Now one of the things I wanna do is I just wanna show you the output resolution down here is set to 480p, 576p. So 
it's essentially the same thing as what we will get, uh, if not maybe a little bit lower than what we will get right out of that HDMI adapter. I don't know if there's any actual upscaling to it. Generally speaking, there's not. But just want to be completely honest and transparent on this. So we are going to set our RetroTank remote aside. And we are just going to go in to some Super Mario Galaxy and we're going to compare side by side the intro for both the component video cables through the 5X at uh, 480p and the HDMI adapter. Turn off my camera here so we can focus just on the display side by side. I'm going to try to be as direct as I can to the same point with both of these just because I'm going to have to play them separate. But I do want to compare apples to apples on this. So here, at least with this cutscene, we'll get a really good idea of one versus the other. Now, I have to admit, the Wii to HDMI adapter looks a lot better than I expected. Um, the colors look clean. I'm not noticing any fuzziness. This is not what I expected. I actually expected something pretty similar to those crummy AV to HDMI boxes, and that is not what this is. This is actually, like I say, a lot better than I expected. Now, here I will say I think Princess Peach does look better coming through the RetroTank 5X, but again, that's only at 480p, and this may be outputting 1080p, quite honestly, which I was not expecting. All right, now that we have some side-to-side -side kind of comparisons, we're gonna dive into the game itself, and I'm gonna actually go to one of my save files so we can actually see what the game looks like being played through the uh, HDMI to Wii adapter. So yeah, I gotta admit, this looks better than it has any right to. Um, these may have come a ways from where they were the last time I checked them out. Now here I am seeing some graininess, which is what I expected, um, but still does not look bad, quite honestly. I mean, it doesn't look as sharp as coming through the 5X. I mean, that's just the nature of the beast. You can see around Mario there, kind of the jaggies and whatnot. Um, but this is a lot better than I remember these looking in the past. I know a lot of people may not have liked the waggle controls and whatnot. I actually don't mind it. Um, I honestly thought it was a fun mechanic for the game. I don't think this looks terrible. Now, it's not the way that I would want to play if I had my druthers. But if you haven't played the Wii for a while, and you don't have component video cables or a way to connect component video cables to your system or to your TV. Um, this is actually, like I said, a lot better than what I expected. And for under eight bucks. I want to think I paid like six. Goodness, this has got a great soundtrack to it. But uh, like I I've said before, and I'll say it again, I am honestly surprised how not terrible this looks. Those little things always reminded me of the slimes in the original Dragon Warrior. Yes, even though I hate RPGs, I have played them. I just don't care for them. Don't want to fall down there. But yeah, overall, this is not terrible. All right, we are not going to play a whole lot more of this because otherwise uh, we won't get to anything else because I absolutely love Mario Galaxy. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fun. I think it's honestly one of the best games ever made. Donkey Kong Country Returns, another amazing game here for the Wii. Now with this one, I think I can just use the Wii remote. I don't need the nunchuck, so we're going to go ahead, turn it sideways.
Sorry for the fat jiggles you just saw, probably. Again, this doesn't look terrible. I mean, it's not my preferred way to play, but it's not terrible at all. The colors do look vibrant. The sound is good. And the biggest thing I will ooh, say is that, beyond being stupid there, um, I'm not feeling any lag or delay or anything along those lines, which is a good thing. Ooh, let's see how many we can get. Can we get them all? Oh, I guess that wasn't something that I could bounce back from. Now, this is something that I do wish that you could play more with a traditional controller versus having to use the motion controls. It really doesn't add a whole lot. Yeah, I am... I admittedly surprised that this is looking as decent as it is. It, it's looking better than it really deserves to be. It has been a long time since I've played Mario Kart Wii. My save date is gone. My Miis are gone. I wonder if my battery on my system died. We're gonna go with the Wild Wing. Ah, I got on the gas too fast. Oh yeah, Bullet Bill. Gonna make up for that bad start. No, 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 no! Dang it! This again... Doesn't look terrible. I can see some graininess, I can see some grittiness. But, for the Wii? Oh, blast it! It's not bad. Now, this will not replace my Retro Tank 5X by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but this is honestly the damn blue shell. On the outside! <laughs> Took the win. Again, we're going to play a game that we don't need the nunchuck with, so we are playing... Wario Land Shake It, which honestly, I just recently got this. Uh, so I'm actually really looking forward to playing this game. Alright, so let's check out Wario here. Again, this looks better than I anticipated, quite honestly. I've never played this before. Um, and I love the animation. This is awesome! I want to go back now because I want that treasure. Arr, me hearty, I want treasure. This, again, it looks really decent. It's very playable. And I'm not feeling lag. I'm not feeling latency. And that's a lot of those AV to HDMI adapters can cause issues with that. Okay. I can see myself really enjoying this. There's treasure up here and Wario wants it. Ooh, six week old Curie. Curry, not Curie, sorry. Okay, this is A, it's a terrific game. B, it actually working quite well. There we go. Got rid of him. Let's see what's up here. The hand-drawn animation style and everything of this is terrific. Alright, I'm learning the mechanics on this now. This is a... Okay, I really slept on the Wario series of games, and I should not have. What's the one game everybody played on the Wii? Wii Sports, of course, am I right? So we're going to check out how this plays with Wii Sports real quick before wrapping it up. So sadly, I can confirm that all of my save files are gone. Um, that's disheartening. Got a nice spare there. Now, if you have not 
um, pre-ordered yourself a copy of, Sw of Nintendo Switch Sports, do it. I've played the demo. The demo was phenomenal. Um, had so much fun. It brought back all the memories of Wii Sports. Uh, and I've got mine on pre-order through CastlemaniaGames.com. Um, so I am really, really geeked out for that now. I went with the physical versus the digital because that comes with, like, the leg strap or whatever it is for... There's one of the games that uses uh, something slightly different there. So, again, no lag, no latency issues on here, which I am surprised at. I will completely admit I was definitely expecting at least a significant amount. I, I was not expecting this to be quite as good as this is. So what do I think of it overall? First of all, for six bucks, six or seven bucks, whatever I spent on, I forget if it was $5.99 or $6.99. Comes with an HDMI cable. Comes with the adapter itself. Now I'm not finally a strike, yes. Not a huge fan of the fact that the um, housing is molded composite or plastic. I'd rather have a metal one just for overall durability. Um, but overall performance, I'm not hating this at all. Um, will it replace my retro tank? No, it just won't. But for what it is, this is completely playable. Um, I have tested these in the past and really did not like what I experienced there. Now this, I don't know if it's a different vendor, if it's if they've just enhanced it since the last time I tried one of these back in 2016 oh, or 17, whenever that was, this is much, much better than anything, you know, any of these types of adapters that I've tested in the past. Now the Strike, love it, but it definitely looks better, I would say, than uh, Composite easily. Component, yeah, maybe on par with it, maybe not, oh! Yes, picked up that spare. Did not, um, you know, not quite as good as what my component cables are. It's just not. But another strike. Yes, I will take that. Um, but really, I'm quite surprised at how good this is. Let's see what we end up our match with here. Yes, a double. Am I done now? No, one more. Let's see if we can get the turkey. Missed it by one! Missed it by one. Okay, be honest out there. Raise your hands if you saw those results coming. I didn't. I expected a grainy mess, similar to what those AV to HDMI boxes are. This actually looked really playable. Really, I dare say, good. I know. Bob from Retro RGB, he hates these things, and I get it, and I understand it. And I was expected going into this that this would look terrible, but it didn't. And again, what I have to look at is performance, price, compared to everything else that's out there, along with target audience. Again, the Wii was designed and sold like gangbusters to the casual enthusiast. They weren't the hardcore gamer. Hardcore gamers were playing the Xbox 360, the PS3, later on the Xbox One and the PS4. So for those who had a Wii, who still have a Wii and just want to connect it to their HDMI TV for six bucks, I can't complain. Um, it delivered a better result than what I paid for and I didn't anticipate that going into this. I didn't feel any lag, didn't feel any delay and that may be something with the waggle design. There's some fudging built into to the system to accommodate for that perhaps. I don't know, but the image was crisp, it was sharp, it, it looked really good. Now there were parts of it where you could definitely see the jaggies and it does not compare and it's not gonna replace my RetroTank 5X. That's what I will be playing my system in from ever, from today forward. It's just the way I'm going to play it. But 
seriously, for six bucks, if you've got a Wii, this is a damn good way to play your system. It's gonna be better than composite. I will tell you that right now. Um, will it be better than component? Eh, depending on your TV, maybe, maybe not, depending on if your TV does any natural upscaling to it. Um, but for the money, it's not trash, which I was very surprised at. Now, if you do want to check out any other reviews that we've done on the RetroTINK 5X, the 2X, the SCART, other upscalers and whatnot, those videos are coming up for you right now. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you want to help support Rockstyle Productions and be a part of our community, there's a number of different ways you can do so. First and foremost, join us over on our Patreon page or become a channel member here on YouTube. By joining through either one of those methods, you get early access to just about all of our video content, exclusive content, and a whole lot more. We also give you shout outs at the end of each and every one of our videos. You can also pick up some awesome Rock Solid Production swag. We've got t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and more available through our Teespring store on screen right now too. You can also pick up some of our awesome 3D printed cartridge stands, Amiibo holders, Nintendo DS holders, and more by visiting our 3D printer store on screen right now as well. Links for everything will be down below in a pinned comment. If you want to stay up to date with everything we have going on here at Rock Solid Productions, make sure that you're following us on the different social media networks. We're on Facebook at facebook.com slash Productions, Instagram at instagram.com slash Productions GK, and Twitter at Rockstar Studios. If you're looking to pick this and other retro and modern gaming accessories up, make sure that you head on over to castlemaniagames.com. He has a feature over there called Castle Cash, where the more you spend, the more you earn towards future purchases, and Castle Cash is just like cash. He also offers convenient payment plans for more expensive items over $50. Finally, make sure that you use promo code ROCKSOLID10 when you're shopping at CastlemaniaGames.com as it can save you up to 10% on most items on the website. Again, thank you for watching this episode and I cannot wait to see you again soon.